Previously, I have found a lawyer that you can rely on, and I've already had a meeting. We sort of patched things up with Nick, and we got talking about you. Nicolette does not feature on my list of priorities at all. Pierce always said you were self-centred and manipulative, but I'm starting to wonder if he was right. I mean, there's no more pies in circulation. It's time to move on. Honestly, I don't feel that good. I think it's something that I ate. <laughs> totally, I'm funky out of the blue. Hey. Oh, yeah, hello, I need a name. Not even his stepmother anymore. Well, you can't just flick a switch and stop worrying about it. I've been thinking about taking a trip to Adelaide, but I don't think I can leave him like this. Um, you don't agree? Well, you've got a new nephew to meet. Yeah. Besides, Hendrix doesn't need hand-holding right now. He needs to recalibrate his life. Mm. It just might take him some time to come to terms with that. He's so upset about his breakup with Harlow. I'm scared it's going to send him off the rails. Well, we're here to make sure it doesn't. You're juggling a lot, Chloe. Some time out might be good. Oh, it's Levi. Oh, he just called me. Yeah, hi, Levi. Hey, hang on, hang on, slow down. Where are you? Levi, any more news? I don't, I don't know. Nobody's telling me what's going on. Okay, I'll chase it up, see if I can talk to B's team. Right. So, so, so you said she just felt sick in the stomach? Yeah, yeah, but she was on the mend last I spoke to her. I, I, they know that it's not her heart arrhythmia. Did they do an ECG? Yeah, when we got here to be safe, but they don't think there's a link. Yeah, it was so weird. She was feeling sick while we were at Bocce, so she went home. David, David thought it was gastro. Um, but by the time I got to her, she was unconscious. Did she, did she eat something while you were out? I know, she said that she had lunch before we went. Oh, that, that they'll figure it out. They will. She's in the right place now. What did they say? Uh, fortunately, they don't have a clear idea of what's going on, but these major organs are shutting down. They don't know why. Credit where credit's due. That lawyer you found me is a gun. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> what did she say? Ah, uh, she doesn't think the gambling thing will be a problem. I, I didn't break any laws. And stealing the lottery ticket? She thinks she can get me off on a good behaviour bond. Her strategy is way better than Tim's. What did I tell you? We simply needed to engage the right person. Hey, so what about the, the civil suit Ricardo's got over you? We're going on the offence. She thinks he'll drop the suit if we slap him with one of our own. So you're going to counter sue him? Sexual harassment. Those text messages he sent me make it pretty clear he's trying to coerce me to have sex with him. Yeah, right. Take no prisoners, Nick. I like it. But you're still worried? Hmm? No, I'm just, I'm a bit tired, that's all. Actually, I'm just gonna go lie down. Jay, is she all right? Hmm. She, she spoke to Chloe about working out the tension between them. Maybe it didn't go well. Carl, hi. What? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll be right there. What's up? A bee's in hospital, organs are failing. I thought she had gastro. I've got to go. This has officially been a top-notch way to spend the day, Rox. <laughs> Thanks. Pleasure's mine. Everybody knows that good vibes are my special skill. Well, it's a pity you have to go to work soon, or else we could have put those special vibes to use. Actually, I may have rearranged my shit. Is that what you were doing on the phone before? Yeah, that or something else. Maybe a surprise. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what's a guy got to do to find out? Drop and give me 20. Or I go home, get a pair of undies and a toothbrush. Cheeky getaway. You got a winner. You gonna tell me where? No, that is all you're getting out of me. Until we get there. Mum, I don't need fresh air. You said you couldn't sleep because you were hungry. Yeah, but the food's back at the house and you're dragging me away from it. Well, the food at Harold's is much more appetising than anything that we have at home. And this might cheer you up. Hello, Chloe. Hey, Jane. I'm just on my way home, so I'll see you later. I take it working things out didn't go so well. She said she thought Pierce might have been right about me being an untrustworthy, selfish piece of garbage. She's upset. It's all still raw. I honestly believe if you just let the dust settle, hmm? Mum, if that's what she thinks of me, then space isn't going to change her mind. People say things in anger that they don't always mean. And anger can sometimes rip off rose-coloured glasses. She's wrong, Nicolette, and you know that. 
You've done all that you can to make amends, and, and, and that is the true mark of the person. I'm just going to go for a walk, Mum. See you back at the house. Oh, please tell us you know something. We've gone over the toxicology report, and it looks like a case of amatoxin poisoning. What's that? Oh, it's a toxin found in death cap mushrooms. It fits the pattern. It has initial gastro symptoms leading to multiple organ failure and reduced liver function. There's also been another case in the area recently. How could B have eaten death cap mushrooms? Uh, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Well, at least now you know what you're dealing with. You can treat it. Uh, I'll go find Sheila. So what happens now, Doc? Like, what's the procedure? Do they pump the stomach? Is there a treatment? Well, there's no antidote for this toxin. You know, we'll start an aggressive hydration treatment, try and flush it out of the system. Right. And, and will that make her better? Well, every patient reacts differently. And the treatment only works if it's initiated early enough. But what does this mean for B? Well, the trouble is we don't know how long the poison's been in the system. If the treatment is starting late, then... Then, then what? There's nothing more we could do. What are you saying? It could be a week or two. All right, we'll send our love. OK, thank you. Bye. They think B's been poisoned by death cap mushrooms. Oh, have they started treatment yet? Yeah, but David said they're not going to know if it works until the morning. And if it doesn't? I didn't ask. If it doesn't, she'll die. Sorry, I, I don't mean to be blunt. Hey, did you decide to book your trip to Adelaide yet? Well, I finally made up my mind to go, but now I feel like I should wait to find out if B's gonna be okay. We can keep you updated. I'll see if there's better news in the morning. I'll let Mark know. I might put the kettle on. Can I tempt anyone? Not me. I just want to collapse. Gee, it's not getting any better, is it? Colette oh, told me that they'd had a run in earlier. I think she's really taken it to heart. Yeah, I don't want her to stress out because it's not good for her or the baby. Maybe you could talk to Chloe. <laughs> I tried. I think we just have to let them sort it out on their own. I told Nicolette to just let Chloe be, but well, there must be some way that we can help ease the tension. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Look. David came around to Nick in his own time when we gave him some space, so maybe Chloe will do the same. Oh, I wish I could smell like that amazing bubble bath every day of my life. We should have stayed one more night, all three. Well, it's not too late to go back. Should we just turn around? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you both are. Why aren't you answering your phones? Well, they both died and we couldn't be bothered charging them. Well, that's no help to me if I'm trying to get on to you. Is everything OK? Is it your heart? No. B, she's in hospital. Levi's been with her all night and I'm taking him some clean clothes. Why? Because of gastro? No. She's been poisoned. Death cap mushrooms, they reckon. Is she going to be OK? Well, I don't know. The treatment might work, it might not. Anyway, I'm heading to the hospital and I think you two should get yourself sorted and, and get down there as soon as you can. Yeah, we will do. Good. It's a pies. It has to be. Hey, These were in the freezer. Ned must have given them to be. There's only two. Ned said that Toadie gave him four. Ned chucked his out. We don't know for sure if he ate one, right? Do now. What have I done? OK, we have to get to the hospital and tell them. We'll, uh, look, bring the pies and we'll get rid of them on the way. OK. Did you put the spare key back? Yeah, I put it back where I found it. Please give me your key, Let's right? just get to the hospital. We need to fess up. My nursing career's over, officially. I've been deregistered. I mean, I knew it was coming. It's not like I'm surprised, but 
It's still a big thing to happen. You're allowed to be upset. I loved my job. Even the horrible parts, the crappy hours, the vomit. Now I sound like a psycho. <laughs> no, I get it. And I've only got myself to blame. Which just sucks. I'm 100% I'm responsible for this and... I was just kind of hoping for a miracle holding out that they'd give me another chance, but... I'm a wrecker. I've ruined things. I'm such an idiot. I'll get you some water. Hey, leave her. How's B? You got any news? I don't know. She hasn't even woken up yet. Thanks so much, guys, for coming. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind here. Did Grant tell you they think it's some death cap mushrooms? I'm really sorry, mate. Uh, I've spoken to Carl. What did he say? Well, she's stable, and so far, no damage to her liver. So she's going to be OK? Well, it sounds good to me, but it's far too early to tell if there's been damage to the other organs. So we keep hoping then, yeah? I just wish I knew where she could have got those death cap mushrooms from. Oh, look, it's no good wasting energy on questions we don't have answers to. We'll find out what's happened when B wakes up. And I'm really glad you two are here because you can sit with B. I need to take him to the cafeteria. He needs to eat. Grant, I'm not that hungry right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't really need to talk to Levi. It can wait. And you're not going to be any help to B if you're collapsing. Right? Roxy and Kyle can sit with her and she couldn't be in safer hands. Hmm? Thanks, guys. Come on. As soon as they come back, we tell them, Rox, we have to. Kyle. Hey, B. Can you hear me? Uh, I'll go get a nurse. Hey, B. It's OK. It's OK. You're in hospital. You got really sick, but they're looking after you. <laughs> Kyle and Susan are here, and Levi, too. What happened? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I didn't mean to. I poisoned you with mushrooms. I didn't know they were poisonous. I put them in the gravy at the tram and I didn't know you were going to take one and I didn't know that Toadie was going to take them and they were in the pies. Just slow down, what? I was just so terrified. I was terrified that I was going to ruin Carl's business and Gary's legacy and that's why I didn't say anything. I put your life at risk and there's no excuse for that. And I'm so sorry. That's your phone? Yeah, I know. It's blowing up. <laughs> I know. All the messages are from Ricardo. This is disgusting. You say that like I'd be surprised. I didn't realise it was this bad. Oh, yeah, just another day in the office. He's, um, not happy he's gonna have to drop the civil suit against me. <laughs> you can say that again. Well, I haven't even blocked this scum sucker. Well, my lawyer told me not to in case we need to use the messages against him in court. So what, if the suit gets dropped, then what, he just gets away with this? Well, it's not like I'm responding. I'm not giving him oxygen. Uh, I, feel, I feel OK. I kind of feel like I've been hit by a truck, but that's normal, right? Yeah, of course. You're extremely dehydrated, so we're forcing fluids into you as fast as we can. So what's going to happen now? Am I going to be OK? Well, your liver numbers are right, so that's very promising. And what about everything else? We'll have to check renal function again, but uh, it's heading in the right direction. Almost out of the woods. <laughs> now B knows what I did. Everyone's about to find out. I just wish I could have been the one to tell Levi, not someone else. I don't think there's a good way to share this kind of news. He and Grant are going to lose it. And the Kennedys? <sighs> hey, babe, this has been bugging me, but how did you even eat death cap mushrooms in the first place? Yes. <laughs> well, you guys, I'm not going to believe this. It's kind of a crazy story. 
Are you too hurt? Bees out of the woods. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, should we go in and see her if we can? Oh, why wouldn't you? Has we talked to you about... Hey, guys. Oh, um, mate, before you say anything... It's the weirdest thing. He found the mushroom growing on Ramsey Street. <laughs> she didn't even check to see if they were safe. She just assumed they were edible. Oh, thank heavens. Someone should get down there and find out if there are any more. Yeah, she feels bad for what she's put us all through, poor thing. Well, that's ridiculous. That's what I said. But look, guys, she's going to be OK, yeah? And that's all I care about. Oh, oh, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. How long have you been there? Oh, I just came round from the front. I, I knocked, but no one answered. Oh. Sorry, I gave you a bit of a heart attack there, didn't I? Yes, well, you certainly did give me a fright. Sorry again. Uh, I was just looking for David. Is he in? I wanted to get an update on B. Oh, he's inside having a rest. Probably why he didn't hear the front door. Come in. You can see if he's awake. You've gone to the next level, haven't we? Oh, come on, you know, girlfriend in near-death experience. Yeah, what about the embarrassing sounds I was making in my stomach? Oh, hey, that was my favourite part. <laughs> hey, um, I really feel like a lemonade. I'm dying for something fizzy and sweet. Could you grab me one? Yeah, that's for sure. Thank you. You guys take good care of my girl, yeah? I uh, will do. Thanks, mate. Pete, what I told you before, I didn't mean for you to take the blame. Yeah, and I'm not going to let you. This is my fault. It's our fault. We could have killed you, B. Yeah, but you didn't. And what are you going to achieve by making a big confession? It's the right thing to do. We have to take responsibility. It will be the end of the tram. Yeah, well, I'll have to wear that. And how's Sheila going to cope with that? <sighs> that is some things to consider, babe. <laughs> I'll follow your lead. This is Gary's legacy. And I know how much it means to you and the family and how much it means to me. Your dad lost his life saving mine. Yeah, so isn't that even more reason for me not to be so gutless? No, Kyle, I'm not going to let you wreck things for yourself. I'm the one who got sick, so I'm the one that's going to make the decision. I want to do this for you. It doesn't feel right. Yeah, it's like we're taking the easy way out. Well, we are. he has got a point. Like you said in the first place. <sighs> what good will it do if the tram shuts down? Sheila will be devastated. She'd be more devastated if B carked it. Luckily, she didn't. She's OK. So why hit your family with more pain? Because I feel like if I don't confess, I'm just being a coward. I understand that. I feel the same way. But now we know what B wants. It's not like you forced her to make the decision. And this is not your fault in the first place. This is all on me. You made one mistake. Yeah, and I would confess in a second if you and your family weren't the ones who'd pay for the mistake I made. OK. I guess if it's what B wants. Yeah. She deserves to make the decision. We owe it to her. It's still our secret to keep no matter how rubbish it makes us feel. Hey, um, I just wanted to say I had no idea you were copying that much abuse from Ricardo. Yeah, it's bad. I guess it's just making me see things in a different light. I'm not saying it excuses what happened with Hendrix. You should have come to me and told me what was going on. I know, I'm sorry. But it helps to see where you were coming from and how much pressure you were under. Thank you, that means so much. Look at that. They got there themselves, huh? Oh. Yes, <laughs> it's getting better. Mm. I'd say our biggest concern is Ricardo. From the sounds of those text messages, he's really got it out for her. Who's to say it's not going to escalate? You know, it's, it's really got me on edge. 
before Ned arrived, I was out there hanging out the washing it. I had the distinct feeling that I was being watched. Of course, there was no one there. It was just... It was just my mind playing tricks on me. Coming up on Neighbours. There's something I need to tell you. I don't think David and Aaron need any more chaos in their life. If you wanted to start a war, you're not going to win. Well, is he dangerous? I'm going to make you pay. I know where you live. 